Hey guys! So today is kind of a fun and exciting, kind of different video. I just got this watercolor palette in the mail. It is a White Nights watercolor. Um, as you can tell by the everything, it is a Russian brand. And I'm really, really excited. I've wanted it for a long time, actually. Um, a few of the art YouTubers that I love who do watercolor have really recommended this brand, especially for students, and they've said that it's really, really good quality. So I was really, really excited to try it out, and as some of you know, my birthday was on Wednesday. On, um, on June 5th, I turned 21, and one of my gifts was a $25 Amazon gift card. That was from my aunt, that's what she gave me. And I used that, and I put it towards this watercolor palette, and I got it, and so, I thought that I would do a little bit of a swatch video for you. So I'm going to do like a little voiceover and tell you some of my thoughts about it and how I like it. So I hope that you guys enjoy it and thank you for watching. Also, can we just talk about how gorgeous the box is? Like, look at that. That is beautiful. Okay, so really quick, you know, it's one of my goals to speak Russian, but I'm not there yet. So if anybody wants to uh, just just pop a little translation on these. Um, I'm sure it's nothing too important, just kind of curious what they say. Let's see if I can focus it so that you Russian speakers will actually be able to read it. Here's this one, and this is the second one. Okay, cool. I think that the colors are in English. Yes, the colors have an English translation, so that's good. opening up the box you can see that the palette is basically the exact size of the box it's not any smaller I kind of like having the big palette though I don't really have very many big palettes so we've got a nice mixing palette on the top there's some mixing wells and then this mixing palette kind of clips in in the front so I think that's kind of nice I'm always on the hunt for more mixing palettes then we have a nice swatch card on some very good quality watercolor paper. I love it when they do that. So I went ahead and I filled in the names of the watercolors on the swatch card. I kind of wish that I had done it on the back, but the good thing is that now you guys will get to see the names as I'm swatching them, you know? It's not like I'm swatching them without you knowing what color I'm swatching. It's kind of helpful. So I'm just going ahead and unwrapping all of them. I decided to leave this in here because I personally really enjoy unwrapping them and I enjoy watching people unwrap them. I don't know why, it's just kind of satisfying, but I sped it up for you. that I noticed right away was how filled the pans are. I can't see anywhere on the box if they are half pans or full pans, it doesn't say, but I would definitely say that these are full pans because they are very big and they are very full. You can see how they're almost overfilled. Ah, overfilled. You can see them kind of spilling out over the edge, which I personally really like the kind of like messy look of it, but it's still it's still organized and very nice to look at. And this is the 36 set, just in case I forgot to mention that. definitely found that out very early on. As you can see, sometimes when I swatch them, the watercolor actually covers up the fine liner, and I think that I might be digging into the pans just a little bit too much and getting a little bit too much pigment. I know that generally in the watercolor like community, 
opaque watercolors aren't usually sought after because sometimes when they're opaque that means that they have a lot of fillers and stuff in them and not just like authentic pigment. Um, that might not always be the case, but I know that that's usually the case with like cheaper watercolors. But I'd say that since these watercolors I know are very, very highly regarded and people love them a lot, it probably just means that there's a lot of natural pigment in them, which is making them a bit more opaque. So I'd say in this case it's probably a good thing because as you can see with the swatches, I'm able to lift really, really easily and get a nice translucent color and they're just very, very easy to work with. They're not patchy, they're very smooth, and even when I get the colors nice and translucent, the colors, them ah, the colors themselves are still very bright. They're not, they don't really get muted and diluted by the lifting, which for me is definitely a plus. So I think that that is all I have to say about this palette right now. So I will let you guys go ahead and enjoy the rest of the swatches. definitely really really liked this watercolor palette. I think the colors are all beautiful and the formula is beautiful. I think that you get a lot of actual paint in the pans and oh I forgot to close my window sorry so it's probably really noisy but I really like this watercolor palette. I would definitely recommend it. I'll have to do more painting with it before I can say like if it's one of my favorites or not but considering all of the colors and how good it performed for the swatches I definitely think that it will be one that I use a lot. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what other videos you would like to see. And I hope you're having a really good day. I love you so much and I will talk to you later. Bye!